that was the wrong button. Hello everyone and welcome to more Danganronpa. My hair is a mess. I'm a mess. The stream's late. It's all it's all just a typical day in the life, right? Why is my oh never mind. That might have sounded a bit wrong. See, I just I stopped streaming for like a few days and suddenly I've forgotten how to do everything. It's crazy. I have my tea here, but the tea bag is still in it, so it's either going to keep getting stronger or I'll have to throw that out at some point. Um, controversial take, I guess. I don't know, I took the tea bag out. I know some people don't like taking the tea bag out of their tea for a long time. Um, I'm trying to remember what's happened. What happened last stream? We got to the investigation part, like we literally saw the investigation thing um and we reopened the case of mukuro ikusaba's death and we are we were t tasked with uncovering all the mysteries of the school quite interesting i don't know how long this investigation is going to be but basically we're just going to end the stream when we have finished that investigation segment so could be a long stream could be a short stream I hope it's not a short stream. Uh, I've missed streaming for the last couple days. See, it even says investigation. So, let's uh, let's get into it. Do I have a tissue on me? I really hope I do. I do. Okay, cool. Everything's good. Everything's fine. I'm prepared. I'm a professional. Definitely. Also, I added some channel point rewards. And I, I don't know if I got... Uh, the better Twitch TV emotes working, but I, I hope I did. I, I took steps to do that, and I hope they're successful. We'll see. Let's continue. From where we left off. It's been a while. It's been a few days. Oh yeah, we get this theme again. I like this one. Oh boy, this tea is hot. I'm not going to be able to drink that for a while. I guess I'll start by taking another look at Mukuro's uh, Monokuma file. I forgot what a Monokuma file was for a second. I was like, Mukuro's Monokuma? Weird. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. I think we figured this out, though. It was the arrows. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed, once we find out who killed Mukuro Ikusaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, the bio lab, the door in the data center with Monokuma's face on it. Oh, and the second floor of the dorms where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? Sounds like a lot of new places to explore. After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder, which means the garden and the dojo. Okay, time to get started. Indeed. Oh, we have a to-do list now. Places to check has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Ah, I wish that had been... Oh, actually, it's really handholdy. I don't actually need this. Um, although, I'm sure that if we go back in the playthrough, we can find plenty of places where I would have needed this. Because I'm a bit silly. Places to check. Oh, it's night time, apparently. But this really is a bop. I'm afraid to try doing the cat jam in chat because like that's what I was trying to um, use to test out if they were working and I didn't get it to work off stream but then I did some stuff right before stream that I didn't get to test properly so we'll see also I added some channel point ready oh, wait I said that I'm like Ooh, okay what was I gonna say I'm like um an early these stairs, an early Alzheimer's uh, patient. That's what it is. It's like I already have Alzheimer's. I didn't. I don't feel great about making that joke. Um. Yeah. Do we just go up to the second? Yeah. Sure. Why not? The gates open. We finally check out the second floor of the dorms, which means I have to do it. Oh wow. Oh, there's blood in places. Um, and this is the second floor of the dorms? Looks like some ancient ruins. Just wanted to check something, sorry about that. Oh no, it's more like a battlefield, like a bomb blew up here or something. It does look pretty crazy. 
Oh, I can explore it freely. I wish all of the rooms were like free exploration in a way. I like that part of investigations in games, in detective games, which I happen to play a lot of. It's not entirely on purpose. I mean, I just like narrative games and I like mystery. And apparently there are a lot of detective games out there, which I didn't know about, and I like to promote. This is the girls' bathroom. Even in a place like this, I can't bring myself to go in. Sure. We can go into the boys' bathroom, though. Is that... What is on that mirror? Is there a rock climbing wall behind us or something? Uh, anyway, it's a bathroom. Not much to see here. It's a nice one, though. Surprising. Uh, ooh, there's a lot of blood. Ooh, there's an eye... Uh, I want to say that's the eye of Horus, but I have absolutely no idea. I know it's... I think that's an Egyptian symbol. I'm not terribly good. I haven't refreshed myself on Egyptian uh, mythology and stuff in a long time. Ooh, wow. See, I still have the spoon in even. I don't usually keep the spoon in. Ooh, it's good tea though. This room is filled with lockers. Must have been for the Hope's Peak students who came before us. The class before ours must have used these lockers. Oh, what's up, Barbus? Oh yeah, no worries. It was a short stream anyway. I can't imagine any way to get this locker open. I'm not even going to bother trying. Yeah. There's a metal plate mounted to the locker. There's no way to get it open. Yeah. What's that? How are you doing, Barbus? I wonder if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. Nope. Locked. There's a card reader installed on the door. Must be how you got uh, get the locker open. After all, pretty similar to the card readers for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your e-handbook to open those. So does that mean... Well, let's just give it a try. I took out my handbook and ran it across the card reader. And then... Zzzt, no luck. Maybe only the locker's owner can open it? Which means none of us can do it. But what's that thing? But what's that thing? Is that just a locker shelf? Yeah, it's probably just a locker shelf. Um, I wonder if we could open one of these, <laughs> one of those lockers over there, you know? I don't think this locker is gonna open. Oh, but I got a Monokuma coin. Ah, oh, perfect time. Yeah, perfect time to get so many of those, right? I could definitely use those presents right now. Can't imagine any way to get this locker open. I'm not even gonna bother trying. Okay. Metal plates. There's a metal plate mounted to the locker. There's no way to get it open. Is there anything else in here? I guess we'll find a card that opens that one locker over there. Um, that was this room here. Yeah. Let's look around a bit. This. I don't know. How long is this investigation? It usually flows here to help me with these types of things, but it's okay. They're busy for a bit. This room doesn't really feel like a student's room. It has a more adult atmosphere. Correct. It's the headmaster's private room. Goko! Indeed. I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. Huh? A regret? Whoa, she got short. Also, Barbus, there are new channel uh, point redeems if you want to try any of those out. I think I added three of them. Goko looks almost weak right now. She must be thinking about something. I probably shouldn't bother her. Ah, uh, yes. Don't bother people when they're thinking. It's not like we're always thinking. At least I am. There's a PC on the desk. It must have belonged to he the headmaster. It's still running. It Is that Windows 7? Windows XP? <sighs> Whoever used this last, it looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. The PC still has some search results left on it. I mean, you might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair? However, There's not much, though. Nothing we don't already know. In other words... The ultimate despair isn't one individual, but instead points to some kind of group. A group is responsible for the tragedy which happened one year ago. They're the worst sorts of people whose driving force comes from despair. However... That's all there is. Not much to it, is there? <sighs> I guess that's the best he can do as a complete Kirigiri failure. He could do as a complete Kirigiri fa failure. No. Okay, because her dad, we learned last time, broke from the tradition of being a detective and decided to be a headmaster. Oh no. 
shirts a little bit. Colored. There we go. It's better. I like wearing collared shirts for some reason. This is just like, I think it's a golf shirt. Is that what you call it? And it doesn't have like the whole button up thing. But I still like it. It's weird. But, but any information about the mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate whatever info we can get our hands on. Correct. I see. So you're stupid. It's a good outlook to have. Yeah, that's basically what she said. The ultimate despair has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Oh, how many? I, th I was thinking it's two, but it might be more, hey? I guess they never explicitly said something. That could hey, it's a hidden door. Huh? There's a strange gap in the wall. Is it some kind of design mistake or a construction defect or something? Yeah, that's where your that's where your mind goes. Ah, yes. Look at this part of the wall. It is weird. It must be a defect. So there's a gap here, but not just any normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. A breeze? Indeed. Oh no worries. What's up, Flo? How are you doing? And I also don't know what owl is. Overwatch. Is it Overwatch? Well, I mean, streams haven't been happening for a while, so I can't blame you. Um, did you enjoy your match? Or did it go well? There's likely an open space on the other side of this wall. Open space? Does that mean... You mean like a hidden room? I think I might know how to open it. Well, don't keep me in suspense. You know how to open it? Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. A very easy trick, yes. So easy, I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. You push on it. I saw a program on that PC that I think controls it. Oh, sure, that's easy, I guess. Enter the right password and the door should open right up. However- but I don't have a clue what that password might be. Well, we'll get it with our dumb luck. And spunk, I guess. As in like, boxy. Oh, you won, nice. <laughs> well, I appreciate I appreciate that. Uh, I've never played Overwatch, but hey, I've enjoyed seeing some gameplay of it. It seems like a lot of fun, and the universe is interesting. I just I just can't help I just can't get over the fact that the first game in this entire franchise of like comics and stories and media, the first instance of it is. The first instance of it is non-canon. But yeah, there are new channel point rewards. I don't think that was a new one, but yeah. There should be three, hopefully. I don't know if they need to be approved or anything. They should be there. Emotes have to be approved. All we know is it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. I can't really go from there. You're right. That's not nearly enough to go on. It's true. Do you mean, what was your dad's birthday? Oh, she, would she even know his dad, her dad's birthday? I looked through all this paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to, and nothing that might have been in his password. <sighs> password. Ooh, I forgot how to do the accent. How to do the accent. <laughs> ah, yes. New channel points. <laughs> you guys are still using the old redeems, though, so it doesn't make a difference. When I think of how much time I wasted on this. Oh, yeah. Jeez. So there's a hidden room she couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. We can assume there must be some kind of clue waiting in there. But yeah, enjoy your highlighting messages. And just so that I can see them, you know, specifically to make sure that I can see them. Otherwise, who knows? It's a, it's a, it's a coin toss basically. But like the coin has many, many sides and it needs to land on one specific side. I feel like I'm describing something uh, like different, like a different object, but I just can't put my finger on it. Anyway, yeah. But maybe for her, there's more to it than that. What is your dad's birthday? Tell me your dad's birthday and I'll try it. What's your birthday? Tell me your birthday and I'll try it. Anyway, if we want to get in there, we need to figure out the password. If Kyoko can figure it out, no way do I stand a chance. No, wait, there might be a chance. The password could be something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of, or something she didn't want to think of, like her own birthday. For example, example, what about your name? What? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just trying to think of what the pa uh, password might be. I'll remember to do the to do the American accent. I swear. I promise. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password. That wasn't a sentence. Knowing how she is, I bet the idea never even occurred to her. Um, do you mind if I try it? Just to be sure? She's like... Yeah, I mean, 
and did I? And I didn't want to try it. Well, it's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Okay. Here come the PC again. Open Civ 2. What's the best civilization? I've, I've never actually... <laughs> Maybe I've played them, but I haven't, like, dedicated much time to it at all. I may have played a game once of Civ, but nah, it's not my, it's not my bag. You know, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name, but if that's not it, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. No, I, d I really don't think she cares. Hey. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. You don't believe in the past. <laughs> that flow is a history denier. The past doesn't exist. I collected myself. I got all the all the different gotcha pieces of myself. And I summon Makoto. It's meant to be like an Exodia joke, but I didn't really prop that up enough. I collected myself, then turned to face the computer monitor. And just type the password here. I typed in her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. Why would it be her full name? If it's going to be her name, it's going to be her first name. Maybe it'll be her first name and her birthday. My hands are tense, slightly tra- Why would you include your daughter's last name? Also, we said it was like, um, numbers and letters, which doesn't include spaces. Anyway. Uh, this is Makoto being dumb again. So five is- Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Washington- Washington's name. Yeah. Hasn't Gandhi been, like, pro-nuke since Civ 2? It might even have been Civ 1. I know the reason it happened, I just can't remember when. Because I find it quite funny. Um, but I mean, yeah. Typical PC sounds. I'm guessing this is the door, but still. Typical PC sounds. Beep. Kern. Why, why would it be the full name? Why would it be the full name? Why would it be the full name? Ah, yes, I'll name, I'll name my son. Let's, let's pretend my son's name is Bob. Ah, yes, my password is going to be Bob, my last name. As if that will change someday. What? That did it? Kyoko, it worked. She's like. Why? Yeah, she does seem very angry, but K Kyoko? That's, why would he include the last name? That makes no sense, is what she's thinking. Without looking at me, she disappeared into the hidden room. She looked grim. She does kind of look like, now that I think about it, she kind of looks like, um, Mori, uh, Kalaupi. Is that how you say it? The VTuber. Now that I've seen it, I can't really unsee it, but like the grim joke just triggered that. Oh, is Kirigiri also a middle name? Ah, of course. I have many middle names. Or two. Kyoko. Okay, I'm gonna take a mug. No, I can't take a mug. There's a bed here. Hmm. Seems nice. This is Captain Good Good Keep. Captain Good Yeah, I'm very good at this. I'm very good at the speaking thing. Yes. It's been a few days and I have forgotten how to speak. H hey, Kyoko. That picture over there looks a lot more sinister until I look closely at it. Also, I think you just heard me gulp. Wow, that was loud. May as well not even have been in the room. The gaze was fixed on only one thing. Was it the present? Or was it the picture? A uh, present? Wrapped and covered with such joy. Oh yeah, no. Just don't think it, just don't think about the initials. And then it's a perfectly fine joke. That's what made it so unusual. Okay, but I want to look at this picture first. I better check out that. It's your eyes, dude. You can look at something. Uh, anyway, just look at something. Just look at it and then you can touch something else. It's much faster to see things. And it's even faster if you're Captain America because one of his abilities is see thing seeing things faster. Don't ask me how that works. There's a brightly colored box here. It seems totally out of place in here. The more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. Taking bets on the contents of the box? Uh, is it Gwyneth Paltrow's head? Is that is that a good joke? I don't know. Um, 
Um, I think it's Kyoko's birthday present. What would Kyoko want? A magnifying glass? So that's my bed. My bed is magnifying glass. But I mean, we can't not open it. Uh, okay. Makoto. Be careful, Makoto. Unless it's a bomb. That would be pretty funny. Why? You think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. But emotionally harmful. But surprising, probably. Huh? Is it a head? It might be the headmaster's head. Oh, no. Is it the headmaster's head? Well, I mean, you're always lying to me. You're always trying to mislead me, so I don't, I'm not going to listen to you now. If it is what I think it is. It might be your dad's head, Kyoko. At the very least, it's not something you'll be happy to see. Wait, so you know what's in there? Anyway. In a way you don't expect. Oh, boy. Just don't scream or anything, okay? Yeah, now I'm worried. Uh, are you saying it's something that'll make me want to scream? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna open it. Oh boy, is it gonna be someone's head? Step by heavy step, I approach the box. Take a deep breath, and then- Wait, in a way I don't expect- Is it Gwyneth Paltrow herself? Then we're- <laughs> Some tissue went into my mouth. <laughs> that was terrible. It's Gwyneth Paltrow, you guys. I can't believe that happened. That was terrible. I don't even know how it looked. I was reading chat. And I didn't successfully cough it up either. Oh well. I took a deep breath and took hold of the lid. This is a terrible time for any new viewers to come in. Slowly, ever so slowly, I lifted it up. Light began to sneak its way into the box. I stole a hesitant glance inside and... <laughs> I see something peeking out. Oh, she told us not to scream. <laughs> Kyoko's advice was no use. I let out a trembling cry. Fair enough, he admits to it. Ah, that was close. Yeah, it's bones. It was in the box. It was bones. I feel like we've seen much more terrifying stuff than bones. Human bones. It's the last thing I expected to find in such a bright, joyful box. You really think that in this game so far, where the main antagonist has dressed up as a bear, and uh, everything is very bright until there's murder, and there's bright pink blood, that things that look joyful would still be innocent. Wow. Makoto is an idiot. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? I well, I mean, Kyoko guessed it right, so just as I thought. Maybe it was the headmaster. Yeah. What? What was in the box? Oh, we were focusing on the president. <laughs> I just got it. Ah! Ah! I'm slow today. It was wrapped up all nice. I was playing darts earlier and I just couldn't add up scores that quickly either. It was embarrassing. So I never would have guessed what was inside. Human bones. Oh wait, uh, is it going to be the same dialogue? I thought we were going to have a little bit more than that. Okay, there's a picture here. Coco said, just as I thought. I have to find out what she meant by that. Why did clicking on the photo make you say that, Kyok? I mean, oh wait, because it's going to say that regardless of what I click on, of course. Just as he thought. How could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there. Human bones! Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. That's pretty much the same thing! A dead guy in a box! My father. Huh? What about him? Uh, so slow. Correct. What you found in the box. Those bones. That body. That's my father. Very clean. Or at least, what's left of him. How did it get to that point, sir? Apparently this has been... Only here for a year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she is the ultimate detective after all. Uh, are you serious? This is Kyoko's dad. Nice to meet you, sir. The same man she's been carrying, uh, searching for. My bad. H hold on, how can you know that for sure? How do you know that's him? So... Given all the information we have already, that's the only po possible answer. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. 
seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. He never left. <laughs> I have to do my monochrome voice. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach. I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. Alter Ego said that the headmaster was probably here in the school. The only person, but the only ones who were alive at the start of the killing game were us 16 students. When you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume. In other words... And most likely, my father was in the school, but he was also dead. So you saw a box and thought, yeah, that's it. That's my assumption, anyway. Deduction, I think, would be a little bit of a better word. As Kyoko explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Oh no, she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. Oh, is this when Makoto gets super good with his emotional intelligence? She said it was just as she thought. So she knew it was a possibility. But I have to believe that at some point she wanted to be proven wrong. Just why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances. No, Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could cut off all ties. Is that all there was to it? Not this shot again! I gave up some of that pride. In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. Um, can I... Are you okay with me seeing your daughter? Ow... Uh, Owie said no. I forgot her name for a second. I did it knowing it was something a true Karagiri detective would never do. Did you really give up her pride just for that? help but wonder in room present has been added to the truth blood section okay can i finally look at this photograph look at this photograph huh this picture it's a faceless man in his 30s oh i uh, probably not in his 30s at this point probably mid-20s it's all faded it must be pretty old wait is this a picture of hey kyoko your hair used to be pinker. Why would you? Well, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free of the past. And yet. To, know, to now somehow find. Wow. To now find something like this. So, what do you expect me to do now? And I was right. It's a picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Cut away, cut back, cut away, cut back. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all this time. He must have really cared about her. In a secret Why? room. Why? What? I wanted to face him and tell him myself. To cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. Yeah, it's crazy. And made her hair pinker. And now he's abandoned me again. And this time, he even stole the only opportunity I had to move on. <laughs> Was her dad massive? <laughs> I love this part of the song. Now it gets uh, more, um, less, uh, ah! what's the word? All of my words are leaving me today. Never mind. Has there ever been a worse father? Consonant and dissonant. Then it becomes more dissonant. Yeah, stress and age, you know, it's only been like maybe ten years. At most. Um and she doesn't seem that stressed overall. But hey. Anything else in here? Letters. The headmaster's desk. It's probably hiding some kind of clue, so I already want to check it out, but I don't want to touch Kyoko's dad's desk without her permission. Sorry, sir. Can hey. I touch your desk? <laughs> can I ask your Can I ask your daughter to touch your desk? Don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. 
Oh yeah, that is true actually, now that I'm thinking about the art. Like, that pops up every now and then. Oh, is it always blue? Unnoticed. Are you sure? Because... Never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I don't. Uh, okay then. Don't mind. Okay, cool, we're still looking in. Starting from the top, I opened all the desk drawers and looked inside. I rummaged through each one, finding nothing but unrelated documents. In the last drawer. Ah, uh, what's this? It's an e-handbook, right? And it has a label on it that says, in case of emergency. I found some kind of emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. In other words... A handbook with no limitations given to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that's what that is. I think you're probably right. That'll be helpful. It might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? Oh, but Kyoko... I... I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. But then, I guess I'll take it. Sure, why not? Is it really okay? <laughs> Headmaster's e-handbook has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Ah, uh, yeah, so I have a bit of tea left. Quite cold at this point, but I still dig it. Oh, so how is everyone doing? I don't think I asked. Hey. Listen, Makoto. Huh? Can I ask you a favor? It's such a bright, happy noise. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't blend well with the current situation. A favor? What is it? So... I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this. And I know it, it'll inconvenience you that much more. But... Hey. Could you leave? Huh? Correct. Just for a little while. I'd like... I'd just like to be alone for a bit. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, Boris. It's Friday, which I just remembered. Hope you're having a good Friday. Uh, not the holiday, but in fact, it's a normal good Friday. K Kyoko. Don't worry, I'm fine. Just need to calm down a little. Just a second. Oh, I'm glad to hear everyone in chat's doing well. Um, I'm doing pretty alright. I've had a very lazy day because, like, a lot of deadlines got pushed, and I was just so grateful for that, that I basically took this as a Saturday instead of a Friday. Although I still have to do some stuff, and I'll get to it. But it's been nice. It's been a nice day. I've had a bit of a stressful week, as you can probably tell from my face. Um, skin didn't react very well to it, but it's worked out. Got through it, and now we're playing uh, Dungan Ronpa, which I hear is a Japanese word. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. I I wasn't. On the internet when that song released. Hmm. That's a fun thought. I need to get my emotions in order. Back to game. You know, Kyoko, tell me before about the relationship you had with your dad. How you're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But. Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you were going to say? I wasn't going to be that smart. If so, it's just a theory. Uh GAME THEORY! And this isn't an issue <laughs> that was such a dumb joke. And this isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do a Mad Pat impression. I don't think I can. I haven't watched a Game Theory video in so long, or any of the other channels, because apparently now there's also Food Theory. I don't know when that happened. Crazy. That picture doesn't change the facts of what happened, what I went through. I... That problem can't be solved so easily. You're right. I'm sorry. Anyway... Once I've got myself under control, I'll return to the investigation immediately. So please, just give me some time to myself. Okay, understand. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, what the intro to that video would be, because, like... What do you get when you take a banana, a skeleton, and the main character of Earthbound? Sands. And that would be the start of the video. <laughs> I don't know. Is Die Hard Sands Undertale in disguise? I love how everyone starts referring to Sands as Sands Undertale because it makes it sound like it's his last name or something. I haven't spoken up about this ever. Ooh, someone to block. I haven't spoken out about this, like, ever. Um, 
Oh. Thank you, Flo. Faster than I was. Um, but I just find it very funny. Sans Undertale. Then I'll see you later. I still think that when you put on the me costume for Sans in Smash Ultimate, it's just like, Sans! Is she really okay? Coco. Why'd I stutter for that? Uh, it's like I intentionally tried to stutter. Anyway. Coco must have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it was a shock to me. That computer is 4x3. Let's find out what happened to the headmaster. There's no doubt the mastermind performed that evil deed. Evil dead? Haha. <laughs> He killed the headmaster, killed Kyoko's father, and then somehow dried the bones perfectly and placed them in a box that we probably wouldn't have been able to find, ever? So devious. They killed him. The headmaster is dead. You never knew him, mate. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. According to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. But we were wrong about that. The headmaster wasn't the mastermind, which means the mastermind's true identity is... <laughs> Why are we... It's the same flashback! Why is it happening again? Oh, is that... Um, is Below Zero the se uh, sequel? Spin-off? I don't know, continuation? I've... I've heard a lot of good things about Subnautica, and um, I hear some people have been very excited for that. I don't know if it's DLC or a sequel specifically, but it seems cool. Hope you enjoy that, Barbus. You get to listen to the exact same flashback again. It's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... I think I have the first one in my Epic game library because it was uh, free at one point, so I'll definitely play it at some point in my life. I've seen a lot of videos on it as well. It's very cool. This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. 15 of us met in the mail hall. Add Mukuro to the mix and you get 16. And including me, only six of us are still alive. Are we going through the entire logic that Koko just explained to us? Everyone else is dead. Okay, no, we're get actually getting flashbacks to all the deaths, and that's uh, not very fun. Oh, no. Aww. Aww. I, like, hesitated on the one that had uh, Hifumi and uh, Kiyotaka, because Kiyotaka was there, but Hifumi was also there. <laughs> Fair enough. It seems very open and, like, not very um helpful with, like, telling you what to do. Like, it's just, do stuff now. Try. Even Mukuro. It's a lot like Don't Starve in that way. Which is the game I used to play, um, quite a bit. Back when I was in grade 7, so I was like 13. It was fun. But then I did really well on one run, and I didn't want to, like, besmirch my legacy. So I did well on, like, a really early run, and then I was like, ah, I can't make a new file. Um, but I played Don't Starve together quite a bit with my brother at one point. That's a fun game. And apparently it's still getting updates. Even she is undeniably dead. Well, yeah, maybe. It's the ones still alive are. Lados. Me, unfortunately. The Akia. Hero. Zarko. Hina. And Kyoko. Those six people are still alive, and there's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. Is he just figuring out that one of them is the mastermind? They literally told us this. I refuse to believe it. There has to be some other way. There just has to be. We've gone through this, man. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, it's very open world. But apparently, uh, yeah, you have to put in like time and effort to learn stuff. I feel like some people really enjoy that type of thing in their game. Can I look at that at all? No? Okay. Is that the Eye of Horus? Can I get fact-checked on that? Is there anything over here? There's a door here. Oh yeah, I can check the locker. That's right. 
Oh, this is someone's dorm room. Uh, is it a boys or a girls? I opened the door just a crack, bounced inside and immediately closed again. There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom, just a big pile of rubble. No Man's Sky, oh. Take. Odd take that No Man's Sky is uh, a good game, but hey, I'm here to hear about it, I guess. I know it got a lot of hate um, early on, but I think they've released a lot of updates to fix that, if I'm not mistaken. It was never a game that I uh, actually played. And then when I saw the early footage, I was like, yeah, I'm, I think I'm fine. It's very expensive, after all. The bed is completely torn apart. Games are so expensive these days. I mean, it's not even really a bed anymore, it's just garbage. Now, the free Monokuma coin, which is actually useless to me. Anything else in here? Um. No, I don't think so. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That was cool. We got to see a dorm room. Um, let me go back to that locker room now that I have the emergency e handbook, because I think that's what the game wants me to do. It doesn't seem like the areas that we're going to explore will be super interconnected, so they'll have like their own puzzles within themselves. Which is fine. Um, you know, if they had, if they had introduced this like early on in the game, I would want it more to be like, go to each of the areas and find things that point to other places. Kind of like Outer Wilds. Who is the mastermind? I think it's, um, Hero. I think he's just pretending. I think he's the great pretender. That's also a good show. Last two episodes, eh, not great, but it's a good show overall. I wonder if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, the one they call the ultimate sex favorite. I didn't read the whole message until. <laughs> yes. That's why she decided, she said, don't come to school tomorrow. To like the one friend she had. And then she said, I'm gonna unleash the ultimate despair. Nope, locked. Is this just like a school shooting turned up to its natural conclusion? Natural con- nat- I said natural conclusion. And I was about to say logical conclusion is like a correction to that, as if any of this is logical. Never mind. It's a card reader installed on the door. That must be how you get the lock open. After all, it's pretty similar to- Yeah, 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 can you just use your thing? You have to use your e-handbook to open this. So does that mean- Well, let's just give it a try. I took out my e-handbook. No, you take the good one. No luck. Maybe only the locker's owner can open it, which means none of us can- Wait, but what about the emergency handbook I found in the headmaster's hidden room? <laughs> You really are the ultimate despair. Oh, Mukuro, you really are the ultimate despair. Like, I thought we had something. Yeah, just, whatever. <laughs> and r ripping your name out of it? Is that what you mean? Okay, let's give it one more try. If you're making a Death Note joke, um, I, which I don't know if you necessarily are, there is actually a rule in the Death Note that you can abuse where you uh, we can misspell someone's name three times and then their name can't be written in the death note. But you have to be doing it. Is it intentional? No, it, it can't be intentional, can it? I think this is a rule though. I don't know, I was into death note quite a long time ago. I took the emergency handbook and ran that across the card reader and opened. All right, just what I was hoping for. Now let's see what we've got inside. I do have the first um, volume of the manga physical and that's really cool. Uh, no, it's the first two volumes. I need to read it though. Suddenly read. I don't see anything that might be a clue. Can I open it though? I took the emergency handbook and ran that across the corridor. Okay, but like nothing. What a waste of time. No, I. I no, that's not what I pressed. Oh, there's another one. This thing is practically empty, except for this. Practically empty. It's just one thing. Some kind of pocketbook. I don't see the name written on it, so I can't say for sure whose it is. Okay, well, I mean, the game accidentally did that for me, so it's fine. There's some writing inside, it could be important. I don't like violating the owner's privacy, but I'd better take a look. It looks like a girl's handwriting. All the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote them was measuring them. Whoever wrote this must have been really meticulous. Huh? I was flipping through the pocketbook, but my hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written there. Oh, we're, was Barbara's making a reference to this, and I just hadn't got to it yet? I, I think it is, um... I can't remember his name now. Yes, a hero. Now, because his handwriting is very good. I saw something familiar written there. Words I'd heard before. 
There's a plan to turn Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolate the students here in a com- Oh wait, I learned how to say this better last night. Communal life. Oh, it wasn't a reference to that. <laughs> Was it a Death Note reference or? I don't know. I decided to talk to the one person who came up with the plan directly. It just so happens to be the headmaster, my father. Oh, this is uh, Kyoko's. He is willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. Here's what he said. The point is to keep our student prodigies safe, to keep them as our hope for the future. Only their genius can overcome disaster, and only their hope can overcome despair. But the future of our country, our world, is not an exaggeration to call this our final hope. It seems a little bit doomsday -y. We must isolate, isolate our superior youth from the corrupted world to serve as the foundation for a new era. Just segregation based on, like, talent. This is the only hope we have. I hope that you'll be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual. I suppose I should be reading this in Kyoko's voice unless it's, like, haunted fake evidence. As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. That is a very specific phrasing though, so it would be hard to copy that without having spoken to Kyoko a lot. This can't be true, can it? I knew it was, and I knew exactly who the pocketbook belonged to. Kyoko, it couldn't be anyone else. Oh jeez. Yeah, it looks like a girl's hand running. <laughs> Typically, I guess the stereotype is that girl's handwriting is neater. Stereotypically, and I mean, Yasuhiro kind of breaks that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've seen plenty of unneat handwriting from girls and plenty of neat handwriting from boys. So I really, yeah, there's not much. Unless it was written. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you can tell this is written by a girl because it's in a pink pen. <laughs> and pink is the color that's commonly associated with girls, so it must have been. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know. We already know Makoto is dumb. But if this belongs to Kyoko, what was it doing in this locker? What she wrote here completely contradicts what she already told me. She said she hasn't seen her dad since he left when she was little. Oh, same picture. I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan direct and we're rereading the exact same, exact same line. It just so happens to be the headmaster and my father. What does this all mean? Quickly scan the remaining pages of the notebook. I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong about this whole thing. When I reached the last page, the question marks spinning through my mind. It just started spinning that much fa uh, faster. And I looked at it. Unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writing here was messy, disordered by scrawled. It couldn't have been a girl's handwriting. Amogus! I didn't get to read that. What is this? I, uh, mm. Uh, I didn't get to read it. I, didn't get, I was too busy making an Amogus joke. <laughs> I didn't get to read it. Uh, what does it mean? I have no idea. How could this possibly make any sense? Um, oh, wait, here we go. Despair walks among us, and so we survive. There's a second despair. A second despair? Okay, so the first page is referring to... Mukuro, second page must mean that there's a, a partner. Mukuro's partner, the one that she failed. <laughs> okay, any other doors? Can I leave? Any other? This is a locker I might be able to open. I took the emergency handbook and ran across the corridor end. It's like the locker open. Now let's see what we've got inside. There's the only thing that might be a clue. Anything else? The store? <laughs> That's pretty sus. I took the emergency handbook and ran across the reader. Took the locker open. Just anything might be a clue. Uh, nothing else seems. Oh wait, there's one there. I took the emergency handbook and ran. Oh, there's something inside. Oh, there's a wad inside. The locker is totally disorganized. Whoever it belongs to probably has organization problems in every part of their life. I think I know whose this is. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, this looks like uh, heroes to me. This is a crystal ball. Huh? A crystal ball? No, it can't be. There's no way he ever used this locker. It's just not possible. Anything else? 
There's all kinds of textbooks and notebooks stacked up in no particular order. But he didn't study. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this is the locker of someone who's had their burger abducted, just like that's the girl's handwriting. He knows these things. Makoto has yeah, just got so much intuition. And dust everywhere. I have to assume whoever stuff this is didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I can really talk. Didn't do a lot of studying. Okay, well, I guess they're dusty, so that makes sense. Trying to act as casual and natural as possible. I picked up one of the... Hope no one's looking. It's gonna... Natural. I picked up one of the notebooks I saw. Why is he... Why would he say that? But the moment I looked inside the notebook, any sense of easiness I may have had evaporated. Yasuhiro Hagakure. What? There was no denying what I saw. Inside the notebook was written, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Is this our Yasuhiro? The notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can tell by the handwriting that this person got 680 calories less than they needed that day. And the uneasiness of the line work makes me think they had an extraterrestrial encounter. <laughs> Is that how many calories are in a hamburger? What do you mean? So I, I assumed, I guess, that you looked that up, and I'm just shocked. That's a lot of calories. He attended classes here? Okay. No, that can't be possible. Hiro came to the school at the same time as the rest of us. We we're all sucked into this evil world. Okay. Wow, it, it was a, it was a, it was a, like a triple stack, you know? The one he had. That's what made it so traumatic when it got abducted. He was really looking forward to it. We were all sucked up into this evil world. We never had the chance to take any classes. So what is this notebook? Locker notebook. I did say it might have been Hero, didn't I? Anything else here? Maybe. No, crystal ball. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. The more I see it, the less sense it makes. Because these lockers, I mean, they had to belong to the previous students, right? So why am I seeing this? Why are there things in the lockers that look like they belong to people here? A notebook that seems like it belongs to Hero. A pocketbook that seems like it belongs to Kyoko. There has to be some kind of explanation. If I want to find that out, I have to keep moving the investigation forward. I don't know why I said it that way. I have to believe in everyone. No, 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 no. I, I can doubt Hero. I think he's acting like an idiot. No one's that dumb. Um, is that all? I think it might have been. Nothing left there. I think that's good. I have to believe in everyone. Yeah, I was, I was betrayed in the first chapter. <laughs> but I have to believe in everyone. Um, what were the other places we had to go? Bio lab. Uh, headmaster's room. Fourth floor. Right, bio lab. Data center. Daughter center. Garden dojo. Oh boy, we have to do a lot. Okay, I'll just run this way. It seems like the perfect time to do some gotcha. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep going until this investigation is over. It seems like it's gonna be slightly longer than the other investigations. But I'm prepared to do that. I mean, we didn't have any streams this week, so. Consider this making up for it. If this stream does go on for quite a while, that is. Has everyone had a good week? Uh, what floor are you on? The third floor. Okay, I'll skip. This one. Then we need to check out the headmaster's room. And the data center. Uh, which one do we go to first? I suppose the data center. No one's trying the new channel point redeems. I'm a little sad. Oh well, it's fine. They're there if you want them or not. Are they even there? Yeah, new, new, new. Ah, Makoto! Are you here to look around too? I love the channel point routines. I'm so glad I got to see the highlighted message. <laughs> did you really get the Monokuma voice one? So, did you read the- does, it, does the description come up if you try to do it? I'm gonna just check now. Um, so if you click that... Oh yeah, it's on cooldown now. 
Yeah, I'll say everything in the Monokuma voice for a few minutes. Okay, cool. Is that what you're doing here? Hmm. Yeah. I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma door. Yeah. So I figured if all the doors in the school had been unlocked, that one should be open too, right? But... Although, I couldn't bring myself to open it. I mean... So it might explode, right? And that'd really suck. So you open it. I'm sure she didn't mean it, but she made it sound like she was okay with me getting blown up. <laughs> this is just making me sass of owie. That's it! Hina is the mastermind! Okay, so... I guess I'll open it. Ah. Oh, wait. Let me take cover first. I don't want to get exploded. <laughs> this is so, it's tricking my brain so much because I still read the characters' names and then I just, ah! <laughs> I'm, still do, I'm still going to do the Monokuma voice for, him, for a few more minutes. Ina raced over to a nearby desk and hid underneath it. This is too much for me to bear! I love it. Okay, go ahead! Thrills, chills! <laughs> Everything will be okay, right? Alright, here goes nothing! I threw my weight into it, but the door opened much easier than I expected. How many minutes has it been? Am I good to stop now? There was no explosion, thankfully. <laughs> what did I sign myself up for? Three? I'll take it. I'll do it for 30 more seconds, how about that? I'm glad you were keeping track as well. Um... My first impression was... Huh? Whoa! This place is totally sci-fi! My first impression was a Monokuma impression! Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Okay, I think I'll stop now. That was good. Um, I'm glad I have that on cooldown. Oh, this is kind of sick though. Oh look, it's the M and the O. It's it's uh, and it's got bear paws. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. It's gonna stick around. Maybe I'll increase the cost. It just messes with my head uh, reading characters' dialogue. Like it's not a problem. I can do the voice quite easily, but. Reading characters' dialogue like their name and then not doing their voice is like completely unlearning what I've tried to build up for this entire playthrough. Anyway. I mean, every part of the school leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but... Just a second! This place is like number one gross! It's in a whole different league of creepy. Hmm. Wrong button. What is this device? Okay. Learning. I did say a few minutes, so I wasn't very specific. I'll do like two minutes. I'll do like two minutes of the voice and I'll lower it to 750. How about that? How's that sound? Because otherwise, I mean, then we're losing out on a lot of like, if we were always hearing Monokuma, the stream becomes a bit monotonous, ironically. Looks like some kind of control panel. It's really over the top though, like some kind of military installation or something. Hmm. Yeah, kind of looks like a mech cockpit, right? Fumi would probably freak out if he saw it. Cockpit? What does that mean? So the Monokuma room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. Is the whole school a mech? I think could that mean? Okay. All right, let's start poking at it or whatever. I'm gonna start pushing buttons. Uh, hold on! You can't just or oh, whatever something like this. It's too late.
You know, was already jabbing away at the control panel. Huh? Huh? Did you hear that? <laughs> Can you not? Yeah, I think it came from the other room. Kina, what did you push? <laughs> uh, I'm not totally sure, but I think it was that one. One that says data center? A data center? Took a good look at the control panel. I saw a bunch of buttons, each with the name of a room next to it. Next to it, okay. Just like Kina said, there was one labeled data center. That must be the one she pushed. The data center is right next door. The room we were just in. That's where the strange noise came from. You better go check it out. Yeah! Yes, please. I'm kind of scared out of my mind right now, so I'll just cheer you on from over here. Besties. Should be a Monokuma pop-up. I wonder what voice I'll do for him. Did I just hear what I think I heard? Yeah. Is that Monokuma? Hey! Grr! Grr! Give me all your donuts! Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Hina. Is that you, Hina? What? 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 Oh, man! Busted! How did you know? Say what? Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera kind of setup? Guys, I think Hina might be the mastermind. Mastermind. I'm losing my own accent again. Guys, I think Hina. Guys, she's controlling Monokuma. You don't even know what you're controlling? Hello. But I mean, I can't really see anything from in here. Found it! Ah, guess what I found? A self destruct button. Whatever you do, don't push it. Too bad. Oh, man. Are you seriously gonna push it? Uh, anyway, I guess that settles it. The room with the Monokuma drawing on it and the control panel inside. Control Monokuma. Yeah, case closed. Ah! Whoa! Hey, Makoto! What the heck was that just now? Monokuma. Huh? huh? What do you mean? What you were controlling just now, it was Monokuma. Huh? Monokuma? Oh. What? For real? Yeah. Looks like that panel definitely controls Monokuma. Which means the last one has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, we're definitely in here. The last one has been controlling Monokuma from this room. This control room is totally separate from the data center area with all the monitors. In other words. Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Oh! Why aren't there just monitors in here? Yuko's theory was right. But... This seems like terrible design. But if the Mazarbite's been controlling Monokuma from here, it means they've been inside the school the, uh, the whole time. Ah, uh, my, my brain just decided to not read the words. So that would have to be true. If that is true. <laughs> not this again! I'm not reading it again. I'm trying to tell you this already, but this killing game began with 63 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in notice week since the killing game began are those 16 students. The mastermind, Monica Miss Puppeteer, really is the 16th student? No, it can't be. There's no way, right? Monica Miss Control Room has been. What's wrong, Makoto? I don't like that face you're making. Oh no, it's nothing. Okay. What about you? Is everything okay? Oh, uh, well, it's just... This is where the mastermind's been hiding, right? Who knows if they set up traps or something? I can't say it is impossible. I really hope it's not true. Um, so, like... So, um, you need to see it? There's still lots of other places to check out. Yeah, good idea. Can't waste all of our time standing around here. Okay, you wanna get going? Y yeah. Okay. Leave the area. Click. Since the door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Oh! Ah! The door! It just locked on its own! <laughs> yeah. It was, a, it was a close call. What? My hand shot out to grab the doorknob. Got a rattle? Right, it's locked, but why? So that Monokuma can't control himself again. <laughs> of course it's locked! Because the data center is now restricted. 
Monokuma! Hey, no fair! You can't just go around restricting whatever you feel like. Hey, it's um... for your benefit. Because if that room stays open, I wouldn't be able to move around. <laughs> Imagine how depressed everyone would get if the school mascot just up and stopped moving. In that room. Yep. As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are. Um... So, right now you're being operated by someone in that room? Yes, in Direct Mundo! You're a liar! That doesn't make any sense. We were just in there and we didn't see anyone. <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? <laughs> Are you sure you're as thorough as you could have been? <laughs> Oh no. Hey guys, I know you actually wanted to check it out, but listen. It's locked. Did you happen to check a certain suspicious hatch? No way! The hatch on the floor? <laughs> Too bad! That was your one big chance and you blew it. I don't think it would have been that simple. Too bad! Of course, that hatch can be open from the outside anyway, so whatever. Hmm. Now then, this room is officially restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be relying on you guys to tell the others. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> it's locked now. Um, yeah. He's gone, but so, um, is he telling the truth? The mastermind was hiding in there? In fact, if you think back to when we got locked out of the control room, that proves it for sure. Huh? Then, when I said we should leave, well, that hatch couldn't be open from the outside anyway, right? So it's not your fault. Sorry. Okay. You just slapped it and sent the mastermind tumbling down. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Anyway, we don't have to let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most of the time we have left. You're right. If there's one thing I'm good at, is keeping my body moving. Okay. okay, I'm gonna go run around and tell everyone what we found here. Nice, you got me all motivated again. Okay, I'm out. See ya later. I took off at a full sprint, like a bat out of hell. I have to do what I can too. It's the only way forward. Okay, head master's room next, right? Let me just double check. Is Biolab lost? And then we'll return to the garden and the dojo. Mm. Sounds good. Sounds like a good idea. Ooh. My legs are getting messed up. Okay. Oh my word, this is the this is the music room, not the headmaster's room. My bad. This way. There we go. This is the headmaster's room. I've heard an awful lot about it. This will be my first time seeing it for myself. Hmm. Ah, uh, Nakoto, it's you. Oh, Yakia. Paper. There are documents scattered all over the floor. Somehow makes me feel anxious. Um. There are trophies and even a shield in the display case. This is it like a broken shield and a chipped sword? Oh yeah, and then it's got the real faces of people. Uh, that throws me off. Uh, what's that over there? Come on, hey, Makoto. Not possible. Are you ignoring me? I think I'll forgive that just because you're a you. Such. <laughs> what is, is he saying? Like we're friends or something? When we get out of here. Remember this moment. I shape Biakia wants attention. <laughs> well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? What do you mean something interesting? <laughs> Take a look at this. It was on top of that pathetically ostentatious desk. Uh, yeah, I mean, I reached for it myself. That's number 78, student registry. Hmm. Contains profile for, profiles for all of us. And so in other words, class 78 refers to us. <laughs> he does like to talk, doesn't he? Yeah. Hey, are you ignoring me? No, 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 no. I get to ignore people. Wait, when we found Mikro's profile in Kyoko's room... I see. That's right. It also mentioned class number 78. 
supposed to be where Kyoko got that page. Since the rest of our profiles are listed there along with hers. In other words, there can be no doubt. Nukuro was a student here at Hope's Peak Academy, just like the rest of us. Nukuro Yukasaba, the 16th student. That must be how Kyoko learned about it. Hmm. But it seems like Kyoko was in a hurry. What? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. The uneven tear, the way the paper had been crumpled, she must have been in a hurry. Well, since she snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get out as soon as possible. What's your point? <laughs> she was in so much of a hurry that she only got the first page. Does the other one have a picture? The first page? Hmm. Correct. Mukuro's profile actually contains two pages. So, in other words... <laughs> Thank you, but... Thank you, Makoto! For not having to go through the... Mukuro Ikusaba. Huh? The 16th student. Oh, I didn't want to hear that again. In other words, when it comes to this profile, there was more information about Mukuro than we still didn't know. Oh, this isn't Kyoko's theme, it's just smart person theme. I always consider it Kyoko's theme because, you know, it plays when she's being smart, and she's the smartest person in the game. But, I mean, he's probably gonna have a flashback to when he was reading that piece of paper again. Or, no, 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 he's gonna flash back to the, the Monokuma monologue where he says, The only people who have walked through this are- Oh! Hey, Sam! Thank you so much for subscribing! That's ridiculous! Why would you do that? Why? You can use emotes now. Well, the emote that I have. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the subscription. Oh, I can't do- oh, Okay, so my channel anniversary is like next week Saturday and I was gonna do something and I was gonna have like a sub goal and I was gonna put it like a sub goal one as like a, a thing and I didn't expect it to get a hit. And now I can't do that. Now I can't even make that joke. But thank you again so much. Hope you're doing well. Do, do we go back to the game now? Yeah, let's go back to the game now. What kind of information is it? Why do you ask me? Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? It seems to me some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. <laughs> I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left us such an interesting clue. Oh, look, he was thorough. I was half listening to half listening to Biakia as I skimmed through the report. Victor reappeared. So, oh, that's what she looked like. Victor reappeared suddenly, and in the background, an entity floats, close but just out of reach. Entity known as the ultimate despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever it is, Mukuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling about all this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. And I need to pay attention to Mukuro's behavior too. I think subscribers also get a double point rate or something like that, or 1.5 point rate. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would I do that? I'll make it like a I'll make it like a, a subscription noise. How about that? It just plays Mukuro Ikusaba. <laughs> it wouldn't really work for non Dungan Rampa playthroughs though. But hey, we'll see. I'll think of something to do. Oh! Then feel my body calming down all of a sudden. For some reason after that, I was, I'm just reading like subscribe and I'm like, what? That's ridiculous. It's just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir, when she entered Hope's Peak, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. In fact, alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. Actually, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students, after all. If I decide she's a danger to the other students, I'll be forced to take all reasonable measures. Look her. She's a part of the ultimate despair. I didn't, uh, I didn't think I had to make subscription notifications or alerts anytime soon. Now I guess I kind of have to, right? I'll have to figure that out. Dang. How terrible. Why am I complaining about this? I'm not complaining. Thank you so much again. I think that's enough gushing now. But I'll, I'll try to just keep playing the game. I should have been prepared as soon as subs got enabled. Uh, yeah, fair enough. But I mean, that would it felt a little bit like um, hubris to me. I still need to figure out what it would be like. So, we'll see. I have an idea. It'll take me a little bit to get you know, to a place where I can actually implement it. So, we'll see. 
I don't think there can be any doubt about it now. But wouldn't that mean Mukura and the mastermind were allies? So why? Why would they kill Mukura? Plus, even the headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Mukura was capable of. He would have had to take her completely by surprise to kill her like that. Or maybe it means the mastermind is even stronger than Mukura was. What? What's wrong, Makoto? Huh? That's fine. You seem to be lost in thought, but I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within the pile that you should note. Sorry, I'm just thinking about stuff. Now, now that now I'm like, uh, no, okay, subscribers, okay, this is the idea for the art I have. Okay, so then do this. Okay, but what do I call subscribers then? Because people like being called things when they're in a community. Ah, my brain. But I just need to focus on the game for today. Focus on the game tomorrow, and then we'll definitely sort some stuff out. I think. What is it? Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl, perhaps you've never seen before. <laughs> seems to be included as part of our class number 78. Now <laughs> she failed. It's not quite a sex failure, but now it's a failure. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. <laughs> also, her name is next to it. Further information about that girl is included in the file. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds, and even this is her vitals. 31, 22, 30, 31, 22, 32. <laughs> She even failed at being Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student. She is known as the ultimate despair. Well, what do you think? What do I think? Are you asking me, like, if she has a nice body? Oh, Makoto, you idiot. Her vitals. Yeah, her vital. I, I was also thinking that's like, because here's the thing, I read it and I was like, is that a normal way to refer to those measurements? I don't know, because I don't know about, like, the common slang around that. So I just kind of glossed over it, but yeah, it's weird. She should be the ultimate failure, period. Well, the ultimate failure. Well, I mean, that's Makoto. Um, so that's a shame. What do I think? Are you asking me like if she has a nice body? You hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse and maybe you'll think, oh, could that mean? Wait, is he trying to say I'm slow? There's a chance the body isn't actually Mukuro? Is that what he's saying? Personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible, but it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? It's all clear That's now. That's all I was trying to say. What you do with that information is your business. Ultimate lack of- Mukuro's the ultimate lack of brain cells. The ultimate brain vacuum! So I'm, about, so I'm back to being Byakuya's errand boy. I'm going to bear in mind that he said- Could that mean- Because I, I want to see if that's the exact dialogue that comes up. Mukuro's profile added. Oh, and one last thing. It's a bit of advice from me to you, so I suggest you pay attention. Advice from me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoko well. Don't. Girls are a waste of time. <laughs> Ultimate hollow skull. It's not that we're getting along, she's just a lot of help to me. Hmm. Yeah, because you're slow. Well, don't put too much faith in that. Mukuro is a very small lady. She was quite small. No, uh, uh, let me read that. Uh, five foot seven inches. That is a bit short. Not really that short, though. 97 pounds. It's not, no, it's actually not short, really. It's quite average. It's quite average height. Oh, okay. Thank you for <laughs> confirming that. Huh? In other words, the cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? <laughs> That's what I think. Call it a hunch. Hunch. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. I do, yeah, I, I had no idea what those values meant, like, visually or anything. So, I do appreciate that. But my hunches tend to be good and right. The advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Yep. So then we have the bio lab. I think. Yeah. Ooh, my legs need a stretch. Ooh, baby. Baby, 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 baby. I'm a little bit surprised no one's bothered redeeming the the 10.1. So that should just be cheap. 
which is that I'll I'll sing a song if I if you name it and I know it. Not a full song, of course. Just like a little bit of it. Um Yeah, okay, roll. Let's go in. Well, here I am. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> it's very cool. Is that, I swear all of you were saying it was cool before. Is this is this the joke? Am I, am I in the joke now? In the loop? Oh, well, here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold. Is that is that what happened as well? I just want to check. Bio lab loss is cool. Damn it, Flo! It's all a scheme from the beginning. It's so cold. It's like normally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is why is it so cold? But guaranteed, you didn't name. Okay, that's about as much as I can do. Oh, so are the um are the better Twitch TV emails working? Uh, none seems to have like tried them, but I hope they're working now. Maybe. Okay, let's look around. Hey, it is working. There's a sack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of those things lately. <laughs> Good reference. It's so cold. Why is it so cold in here? That's the f f first thing I need to figure out. Oh, that one's off. Some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. On the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. I d I'm surprised you didn't try the no guarantee one because that was like, it's 10 points. It's just 10 points. And the only thing is that I need to know the song, so. And on the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. But on the other side... Okay, but that one's off. Yeah, these are all off. Mm, this thing... This thing... Oh, so cold. Why is it so cold in here? Uh, that's the first thing I need to figure out. Okay, what if I click on the ones that are off? There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. I've seen something like this before. Ah, uh, that's it. I've seen this kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. <laughs> More highlighting. Love it. Is that badge for the... Oh, it's for the cheering. Nice badge. Well deserved. It's a fridge for storing dead bodies. Some... Oh, okay. Does that mean this is... This bio lab is actually a morgue? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, no! Let's really take a closer look around. Okay. Is, is, uh, are, the, are all the people that have died here? Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. Looks like an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. In addition to the germicidal lamps, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Simply insert the cadaver and the blue light will let you know the automated systems have activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings. With our system, anyone can keep a body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. In the unlikely event of a problem, the red light will activate and an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel, and we do offer an optional leather upholstery upgrade package. This is instruction manual for the fridge. Are any of the lights new? No. Okay, do I do I dare to look at one of the active ones? Some kind of weird machine. And then on the left side, okay. The right hand lights are off. Well, looking around, I think I get it. It seems clear to me now. I see it clearly now. The rain is gone. There's a makeshift morgue. Fire lab secret has been added. Up this slice by each slot. Looks like it's set up so that when a slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. 
I mean, inside each slot lit up in blue, other one of the victims is... Ooh. I can't let my, I can't let my emotions take control right now. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died. And that's defeat the mastermind. To do that, I have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other option. How many are on? One, two, three, four, four. Uh, plus five, so that's nine. Okay, so is Mukuro's the only one that hasn't been put in? So then it is the other students. Rough, buddy. Okay, let's leave. And then we need to look at the dojo and the... What was the other one? The garden. Yeah, okay. So let's look at the garden first. It should be... I'm, I'm turning around now. Is it this way? Yeah, here it is. There we go. Um, no, the body's gone. Huh? It's gone. Look at his body. It's not here? Do I have to look at the vacuous space? Not here? Yep. There's still just the four chickens left. Honestly, I'd be kind of terrified if there were more than that. Okay, in the tool shed. We've lost a corpse. Dang it. Yakuya probably set up a new crime scene. Oh, we weren't looking. Look at the bodies inside the tool shed. Better check just to be sure. Didn't find anything even close to a dead body. If it's not in here either, that, then it must be. Could it be in the bio lab? Corpses aren't the only thing I need to check in there. In here, there's one other thing. Top. Top played a key role in another case, so. Don't look into it. Oh, yeah, because that works. A tarp was used in a different case, so I should use it in this case. What's that lawnmower? I don't think it's related to the case. That's not what I clicked on. What do you think this cursor is pointing at? There we go. The killer used the tarp to keep the sprinklers from getting body wet, which means the killer might have left some clue behind here. Huh? I didn't notice this before, but there's a small stamp on one corner of the tarp. It says Biolab. Oh, the lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> then, this originally came from the Biolab? Tarp has been added. I know the lawnmower is not used in this case. Thank you, Makoto. Let's go back to the biolab. That's all I really needed to check here. Still waiting for the could it be? What could that mean? That was what it was. Could that mean? The super investigation music. Most recent one? This is one of those fridges they put dead bodies in. I've seen one of them on... I've seen them on... Im? I've seen them on crime shows and stuff. So is everyone who's died... What does that mean? Since Mukuro's body is the proof from the garden, could be in here? <laughs> Leon couldn't have done this because he was dead afterwards. That didn't stop Saika, but... Uh, not Saika, Sakura. I need to check, but I have no idea how to open this thing. Instruction manual. Oh, there's some kind of book right here. It's like an instruction manual. We offer. This is the instruction manual for the fridge. So it should tell you how to open the things as well. Is it all just the instruction manual? Yeah, yeah. The whole object is an instruction manual. Um. Some kind of weird machines. Uh, the left side is closed. On the right side, on the left. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll look at the the dojo then. If this is if this one isn't going to reveal its secrets to me. Although there's one thing I want to do. But I forgot about this. Honestly, I'd forgotten that this button existed. And I just remembered. I guess I'll look at the monitor. Or icicles hanging from the monitor. It's worse that surveillance camera can work without questions. Okay, tarp. Look at the tarps again. There's a sack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of these things lately. This is that, 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 and I clicked on everything, so I'm gonna leave now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remembered! 
But thank you for pointing it out anyway. But it seems like I did click on everything anyway, so. Oh well. Uh. Oh, Turco, so this is where you were. What do you want? What, what do you, you want? My sir, d -d 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 disgusting. You want me to? You want me out of your sight? No, that's not it at all. I just thought maybe you'd find a clue. Well, I haven't. I didn't find anything. Not as one single clue. Maybe since this place was r related to the case, it would have to have something, right? There wasn't a anything out of the ordinary here. Back. Give me back my pr pr precious time. Calm down, Toko. What's your problem? You want me to calm down? Do you have any idea what I, I'm going through right now? Everyone finds this out, they're gonna call me useless. G good for nothing. Nobody's gonna say that. Master will. I'm not sure I can disagree with that. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm sick of always being looked out on. I won't anyone accept me. Because you're, um, you, you don't really do yourself any favors. Um, well, I don't think there are any clues here, so maybe I'm gonna get going. <laughs> No clues at all? Even if I check here? There's a bunch of wood lockers here. I found a clue in here, but it was just the mastermind's attempt to frame Toko, a uh, Kyoko. Uh, okay, allegedly there aren't any. No, I wanna look at I wanna look at the targets. The targets seem pretty far away. I'm always amazed to see what people can do with a bow and arrow. Oh. Well I've got another I've got a coin from this before. Weird. Okay, yeah, that's it. Is this going to be different? Is everyone working hard? Is your investigation coming along nicely? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> well then, since you're all giving it your best, oh. your generous head it's not over yet. will give you a little hint. <laughs> For those of you who are interested, please make your way to the gym ASA possible. Okay. Now he wants to give us a hint. Suspicious, there's no doubt about that. This could be a trap, but even knowing that. It's safe to go to the gym, right? Okay, yeah, cool, it's gonna take me there automatically. That's fine. Oh, it's just a hero. Oh, hey, hero. <laughs> oh, Makoto! Why do you act so surprised? Uh, um. Uh, uh, no reason. You're Monokuma's announcement, right? Are you here to find out what he has to say? <laughs> I, I, I just did, actually. I'm on my way out. You already talked to him? What'd he say? L listen, s sorry, but but I... Uh, I gotta go! But I, want, I need to tell you about the fact that I found your locker. Hero, wait! There's no point in trying to stop him. He ran off like a frightened animal. H Hero? It's like he was trying to avoid me. I was hoping to talk to him about the notebook I found in the locker. Has he been hiding something this whole time? He had all this non-masterminded-ness uh, abducted by an alien. Is he running off to the data center in order to control Monokuma right now? Bing. Hello! Everyone quiet, Monokuma has something to say. I am Monokuma! Hello! Welcome! Welcome, hello! Are you ready for your final hit? Well, it just so happens to be in the envelope on the ground in front of you. The envelope? Okay. You're so far away. This must be the envelope. <laughs> I'm glad that we're social dis uh, distancing. <laughs> and just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. What? Yeah. Don't worry, just get on with it. Okay. Monokuma's cryptic words didn't make me feel any better, but I picked up the envelope and opened it. What I found was a single photograph. Photograph. A single photograph. Huh. Interesting. 
Hmm. Okay, Junko's getting Mike wazowski Featured a bunch of faces I recognized extremely well. So, my thoughts. There's a picture of Mukuro Ikusaba there. And her face is currently burnt off. So, no, I don't think... Okay, so I think this photo was taken when everyone was attending Hope's Peak regular. That explains Dashihiro being there. It explains Kyoko being there. And it explains um, Mukuro Ikusaba being there. And I think everyone just forgot somehow. Like, had their memory wiped. Which is what... Um, Sir not appearing in this class, yeah. Um, and Kyoko, if we're taking a word for it, mentioned at the start of this chapter that at the start of the game she had her mind, her memory wiped somehow. Makoto probably didn't at any point attend Hope Speak before the events of the game. So that it would explain why he wasn't here if this photo was in fact taken of that class. Does that mean then that all the other photos were taken of them when they had already been attending the school? And I don't know what this has to do with Makoto's weird dreams. Where he says, my, my goal isn't to leave, it's to stay. Orbis! Why? What are you? Stop spending money on me! Thank you! I appreciate it. first me oh wow subscriber for the first month oh yeah it's a founder badge that's a cool badge to have thank you i don't know why you, why you had why you decided you wanted to do that i don't even have a cool animation for it but thank you i'm gonna live up to the content multi-member sub club it's crazy it's crazy uh, streams have been crazy recently Okay, so that's my theory on what this picture's about and where the other pictures came from. I just have to keep playing the game now. But thank you again, Barbus. It means a lot. Oh, you wanted the badge, of course. And thank you. Thank you for the support, of course. Yeah, sure, I'll take some food for thought. Um, so the pictures that we got scattered around were probably from bygone days of everyone attending school together. What does that mean? Okay, I don't know how this is gonna exactly play into the whole narrative, but that's my suspicion at the moment. Featured a bunch of faces I recognized extremely well. Was everyone who'd come to Hope's Peak at the same time as me? Wait, but someone behind Sayaka. She's the only one I don't recognize. Well, actually, Junko's getting. That was my best impression of the Monsters Inc. theme because she's getting Mike was asking Celeste, Leon, Mondo, Yasuhiro, Hifumi, and Byakuya are wearing the clothes in this photo that they wore in our collective life. Yeah. That is interesting. I don't think Byakuya is actually. No, Byakuya is wearing a red tie, which uh, isn't part of this normal thing. I think that's a normal school uniform. It also seems to be a different color as well. I respectfully disagree that he's wearing um, the clothes that he's wearing in our shared lives. But yeah, Leon and Fumi and them. I don't know what makes them special yet. That's right, when Byaku and I were in the headmaster's room and we looked at that file, Mukuro Ikusaba? And this girl is... Oh, I thought we were about to get the flashback again. Oh, thank god. What? Why? Why is Mukuro here with everyone else? Even more than that. Just having everyone here pose like this is weird enough by itself. They're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like this. What do you mean, we're? Where are you in this photo? You're not here! I'm not here. This isn't happening. A lot of songs are coming out of my brain today. Uh, from songs that I already know, of course. And, now that I'm looking at it, it's not even everyone. I'm not in the picture. <laughs> Makoto's. <laughs> I'm the only one not there. The picture has all 15 other students, but not me. 
I guess that makes sense. After all, I don't remember ever taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Saika, but the first time I met everyone else was when I arrived here at Hope's Peak Academy. So it's natural for me not to be in this picture. Well, it's definitely unnatural. It's for... So that everyone else is in the picture. It's for Mikro to be there, especially. But everyone was like me and didn't know each other until they got here. But if this picture is real, what could that mean? Could it be everyone else and just me? Everyone here except me is. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you gonna keep up this rambling soliloquy of yours, Hamlet? To be or not to be. That is the question. Whether it's nobler in mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and in opposing, and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, to sleep. Oh, sorry, wait, I messed it up. To die, to sleep, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache, and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. This consummation devoutly to be wished to die, to sleep, to sleep, chance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. That's Makoto doing the um, Act 3 soliloquy from Hamlet. <laughs> He's so bland that we just straight, see straight through him. Ultimate invisible guy. He's the cameraman, guys! What are you gonna do? That's a, that's a theory, I guess. You're kind of getting in the way standing there, you know? Hmm. So, I mean, get out! But, but, I told you, I'm not fielding any questions. And what kind of mystery would this be if I gave you all the answers? I'd be totally out of left field. Also, Hiro is the only one who has responded to um, Monokuma's emote speech. As if he understands it. Hmm. Although, in naming that, he was able to respond to it, so someone else was controlling it. But that could have just been Mukuro at the time, because I think that was in chapter 3. It might have been chapter 4. I don't know. I guess that means he's done talking. Damn it. Group photo has been added to the truth board section of your handbook. So in the end, all I found in the gym was even more confusion. And with that confusion in hand, I left the gym dejected. I got ejected, dejected. Ah, uh, lol. How does that count as a hint? It just made me even more confused. Is that what Monokuma was going for? He put together a fake photo just to confuse me? It looks so real, so full of life. How could anyone fake that? What should mean? Everyone but me. I should just ask everyone directly. Should I clear all this up? It's all like it's some occult mystery. No, I have to clear this all up. There we go. Epic guitar. Where is everyone? Oh, no one's nearby. And here are the stairs. Yeah, it's not like that. It's not like it's some occult mystery. How dare you suggest otherwise? Oh, my neck. Uh, I'm gonna take the map. I have 215 Monokuma coins that have no real value anymore. Oh boy, I went the wrong way. There we go. What are we looking at here? Um, are we ran away? I think that's quite a shallow mystery. Yaku is not here anymore. Is anyone here? No. Fifth floor? Or would everyone be somewhere else? Where would they be? I don't know. Dining hall? Map? Yes, there are objectives around here, okay. I 
I didn't actually check which rooms they were though. Okay, I got that one wrong. Oh, let's check the garden. Um, it's up here. <laughs> yeah, Makoto is all all anime protagonists know is talk to friends, romance people, eat hot chip, and sleep and lie. I pulled off that meme. Hey, hero. Gah! M -m -m Makoto! What's going on with you? Every time I see you, you freak out like that. N no, I. Oh! Sorry, but I'm in a big hurry. Once again, he ran off like a terrified rabbit. Maybe it's because he saw his vision come true during that last trial. Hero, what's wrong? I still wasn't able to talk to him about the notebook I'd found. It's like he was avoiding me. He was afraid of me. Why? Maybe he just wants to run back to the Monokuma control desk as quickly as possible. Um... Spiral Lab? The morgue. Let's go to the morgue. There we go. Oh, I'm really not on beat when I'm trying to sing along to this music. Oh well. I decided to visit the bio lab one more time because the map told me to. The first thing I saw when I got there was her. Passed out again. Huh? It's okay? Oh, she found a body. T Toko, are you okay? Yeah, you don't need to be that enthusiastic, mate. No, no! She's not dead, is she? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, yes, he was traumatized because he took a quiz to find out his political alignment and he thought he was fully left wing, but unfortunately, the quiz said he's at least 30%. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. Just the idea of him taking a political alignment quiz. <laughs> oh boy. It's cold! It's super cold! It's so cold I think I might catch cold! Might catch cold? If you keep taking naps in places like this, I'm sure you will. I see. What? I was asleep? Oh, I must have fainted again! Uh -huh. I bet you were standing there staring at me getting all excited, weren't you? No. I wasn't. Oh, then what? Hot and bothered? Straight up horny? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> that is not a pog moment. Barbas, <laughs> why would you say something so controversial and so brave? That is not a pog moment. Oh, well, at least you're having fun with the emotes. And they don't look as bad as I record them, actually. Um, okay, so why did you pass out? Uh, dude, you saw the dead body was just pulled out over there. I don't know. Last thing I remember was me waking up just now. What'd you do to Miss Morose? Oh, that's right. Your memory stops and starts each time you switch. <laughs> Every moment is a pog moment. I just wish I had a better emote uh, prefix, but I mean, we'll, we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Bingo! Bazinga! Do we share some basic knowledge, but our memories are very much separate. And don't say it like it's a bad thing. It's a blessing as far as I'm concerned. Because even if she forgets something, I totally remember. So it's like double the memory. Unless you guys like share brain space. Uh, no, it's more like half. Half. Just like Jack's memory has been added to the truth board section. Oh, that's going to come up in court, isn't it? All I want to know right now is where's my little darling? Tell me now where I slit your throat. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure Byakuya is around somewhere doing his own investigating. Mm, yes. By himself? I assume so. <laughs> I knew it. I totally knew it. I'm a total pro when it comes to all things master. <laughs> anyway, I gotta hurry. I can't even imagine how lonely he must be right now. <laughs> oh, I can't do that laugh. Took a shot off her eerie laughter echoing behind her. I totally forgot to ask her about the picture. Well, there's no point ask asking Genside Jack anyway. Besides, I have more important things to do right now. Yeah, that laugh. I took a faint. There's gotta be some reason for it. Oh boy, look, there's the reason. That is perspective and a half, am I right? It's tilted. The fridge, it's open. I'm sure they were all shut tight last time I was here. That must be why she passed out. I thought it was Kyoko. Right. Hiding there. She faints so easily. 
Kyoko. Makoto. It's getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? Indeed. I'm sorry if I made you worry. No, you don't have to apologize. Listen. Listen about this room. Oh yeah, it's. It would seem. It's a morgue. Yeah. I knew it. I suspected as much. Toka must have looked inside the fridge. Seen what was in there, and well, there you have it. You knew she'd fainted. Indeed. I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running past me. I assume she must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the real reason came here. It would seem. I imagine she came here to investigate, and when she opened the slot here, that's when she saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. Why is everything gonna be so difficult with her? Anyway. What do you mean? There's an insect in front of my screen. I'm just knocking it away. Anyway, we should close it up. Don't want to leave it hanging open like that. Yeah, good idea. Give me a hand with this. Whose is it though? Kyoko approached the fridge, hands outstretched, but suddenly she stopped. What's wrong? Listen. Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. Makoto, about this room. It's a morgue. She just saw it, like, quickly. She saw the pamphlet. She saw the body. No, I mean, she had a lot more clues than we did, technically speaking. Huh? How come? Because Mukuro's body is in here. Mukuro's corpse? Mukuro's body is inside the fridge? Just like every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The mastermind did it? Because they assumed we wouldn't be doing the class trial over again, I guess. So... Maybe you're right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at the body. Oh, that's right. Kyoko didn't get a chance to check the body during the last investigation. Makoto. I need to do my own examination of the corpse as soon as possible. I'm going to find a clue this time, and I'm going to grab the mastermind by the tail. Kyoko, look! Dead bodies! Okay, so what should I do? So then. Why don't you just wait over there? I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Just wait over there? That's it? Okay. Now look at it. There's a fridge meant for storing dead bodies. I can't do it. I can't look inside. Okay, uh, Kyoko, are you done? Just ask Kyoko about that group photo. I'm sure she's in it too. I still have a corpse missing, it's just not Mikuro's. Yeah, that's pretty odd. Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but I, want to, I wanted to talk to you about something. Then she's gonna just say no. If you said don't let me interrupt your investigation, she's just gonna say you're interrupting my investigation. What is it? It's about that announcement Monokuma made earlier. <sighs> you mean the one about a hint or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. That one, I don't like hints. Because... The only reason he'd give us a hint at this point would be to confuse us, to cloud our judgement. I can solve this mystery on my own, without whatever hints he may have to offer. That's a good point. I wish I could go back and do the same thing. What's done is done, I guess. Standing here looking at her, I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? Did the mastermind forge that picture as a trap to confuse us? It's gotta be it. There's no other explanation. No, there is. Lost memory. Okay, now can I look at the body? Division man for storing bodies. I can't do it. Okay, and Kyoko again. How about? Just Kyoko about the group photo. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Um. She just said stand over here. Am I meant to look at this? I've already looked through this instruction manual. More importantly. More importantly, what? More, just tell me what I need to do next. You know, I think I've seen a top like this somewhere before. Oh, now you recognize it. Ah, it's the same as the one I found in the garden tool shed. If I remember that tarp, I had a stamp on it that said Biolab. That's the tarp that was used to help camouflage the murder in the garden. At some point, someone got it from the Biolab and took it over there. Well, no one had access to the Biolab except for the master ones, so that makes sense. The tarp has been updated in the truth board section. That seems like pretty damning evidence. Uh, anything else to look at? I'm blessed out the refrigerator a bunch of blue lights are on. But it these ones aren't. Seem... It seems the blue light comes on when a slot is occupied. So when someone's in there, the blue light comes on. I know the number of lights that are on, including the Cooper's. There's nine in all. Nine. Nine lights? Fire Lab Lights has been updated in the truth bullet section of your handbook. Maybe someone isn't actually dead who we thought was dead before. Huh. That just occurred to me. Who would that have been? Who could that have been possibly? Well, I mean, Mondo's little disappearing act doesn't seem all that realistic. So maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe the Mondo butter was a fake out. Could just check everyone, right? We could just do that right now. Okay, Makoto, I'm done. Already? Jeez, that was fast. Indeed. 
Anyone can do good work if they go slow. And that's where I'll make my report for So, did you find anything? Indeed. I paid careful attention to the wounds and the traces of blood, and it seems highly likely that the stomach wound and blows to the back of the head were inflicted after death. Oh, the back of the head wound was also after death? Post-mortem? Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my findings. So that means neither of those were the fatal injury, right? And what was the fatal injury? Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. Oh, sorry, yeah, this is Makoto. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, and these were at least several days old. The only other option is those other wounds, but the file said they were old. Is that right? Or does it say they're old? Huh? Because... All the Monokuma's file says is that they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the difference. Wrong. Well, the difference is immense, considering the impression they give. Listen. It seems to be equating several days old with simply old. However... That doesn't quite follow logically. Old wounds. It makes it sound like they've been there forever, or related to the murder. Are you sure? Are you saying they are? Sorry. But we all got the Monokuma file right after she was killed, right? So if the wounds were at least a few days old, there's no way they could have had anything to do with it. So then... Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's the logic I was thinking of. Just quick stretch. Because, let's see, there was Leon's, there was the Mondo Butter, there was Celeste's, and there was... Oh, Sakura didn't get one. Um, Sakura was actually working with Monokuma, so there you go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. If Mukuro herself wasn't killed within the la last few days. What? At the very least... Oh yeah, that makes sense. The wounds are several days old because we're looking at a dead body that was killed several days ago. Certainly you can follow it as one of the many possibilities, can't you? But then we saw Mukuro walking around. One of many? Right. The detective doesn't have supernatural powers. Like an occult mystery! There's no way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible scenarios as they can. In other words... They envision these possibilities without prejudice, without bias, using only their logic and common sense. Then, as they investigate, they test what they find against each of these possibilities. <laughs> of course, me telling you this doesn't mean you'll be any good at detective work. But beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep it in mind for the future. I don't think Makoto is the protagonist of the second game. Kyoko's account has been added. Hey. So if there's anything else you'd like to know about the condition of what he knows the time. Come to think of it, there was one thing. Earlier when I was looking at Mikro's profile, it listed her height and weight. So... 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds, vitals were... 31, 22, 32. Did I get all that right? I think so, yeah. Remembered all that? They are indeed consistent with the corpse. So then... Indeed. Don't forget about the Fenrir tattoo. There's absolutely no mistake. Indeed. Yeah. Makoto, hey, Makoto might be the uh, mastermind. That's a good point. Our victim in this case is, without a doubt, Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student. 16th, I messed up the speaking. The 16th student. She is known as the ultimate despair. Mukuro Ikusaba's profile has been updated. And? Is that all you wanted to ask? Yeah, it's not really a vital thing. Y yeah, I think so. so then. And it looks like we have no further business with Mikro's body. Let's get going. Oh, wait. Wrong voice. Sorry. Let's get going. It's kind of chilly in here. Oh, wait. Are we not going to put the body back? Did anything was kind of sad leaving it out like this? Why? Sad? We could check all the bodies right now, and we could see who's not there. Why don't we do that? Can we do that quickly, Kyoko? Sad. You forget she was our enemy once part of the ultimate despair but she still got killed she's still a victim hey have you ever heard the phrase you reap what you sow yeah, okay. i just thought i might have skipped over some dialogue because i got a um, twitchy thumb right there well yeah but still <sighs> but you are naive you know that 
It's really quite appeal appalling. I thought it was appealing for a second, but no, it's appalling. She could have abandoned me, but she decided to help me instead. So for someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? I wish I could see this happening. So then. I think we've done all we can do here. Back to our separate investigations, yes? Uh, hold on! So I've one more thing to do. Something I need to talk to Kyoko about. I need to ask her about the pocketbook I found in that locker. I don't do it now. There we go. Hey, Kyoko? I did have one last thing I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask you. What? What do you mean you know you shouldn't? Go ahead then, out with it. Have you really not seen your dad even once since you got here? What? What? So... What do you mean? Well, you know, all those lockers on the second floor of the dorms? Indeed. I do, yes. But to get into any of those lo any of the lockers, you need the handbook of whoever the locker belongs to. Actually, I managed to get them open using that emergency handbook. I see. The one you found in the headmaster's hidden room. And? So, did you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? Um, a pocketbook. Looking through it. It must be your pocketbook. Why is that? What makes you say that? It has a girl's hand on What does that mean? Because... Like I said, only the locker's owner should uh, be able to get into it, right? I can't imagine those lockers belong to any of us. After all, we only got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. If I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it in a locker? Everything you just said makes perfect sense, but there was something written inside. It's about the headmaster. About your father. What? Huh? If that's true... What could that mean? Yeah. That's all right, exactly the same. And Toko. And Toko. But not Chihiro, I guess. Tee hee hee. That video is real too. The video? The video she was shown in the beginning? Makoto. Makoto. I think everything is finally starting to fit together to reveal a cohesive picture. But I'm afraid that picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. But what are you talking Hi. about? Oh yeah, actually Flo might be the mastermind. She's been misleading me along this whole game. I need to go investigate those lockers right now. I need to confirm what you just said with my own two eyes. Talk about what just happened. Oh, let me give you the headmaster's handbook. That way you can. So... No, it won't be necessary. Actually, if she can use her own handbook, they'll prove it. If I'm right about this. I shouldn't have any problem opening the locker with my own handbook. Yeah, exactly. After all, it should see. It would seem that it's my locker. That is, it's. I was getting a little bit confused there. The locker. Makoto. Watch this. It'll all make sense. Urgent interviews. TVD. It says, class number 78, urgent so... interviews. Found it in that hidden room after you left. Wow, we didn't do a good job. Anyway. I don't have time to explain exactly what I think it means, so I just so just watch it and see for yourself. I think you realize exactly what it means. Where are we going to watch this DVD? We'll understand why you found my pocketbook in a place none of us have ever seen before. Huh? What truth? I don't know what Flo is talking about now. None of this makes sense right now. But I guess that means there's some important clue on the CBD. Yeah! More investigation quickly. Interview DVD has been added to the truth bullet section. Oh, and now it's my turn. Do you have a second to listen to me ramble? Ramble? In other words... So as it turns out, the arrangements I'd made didn't stick. Huh? What I mean is, I'm less and less sure of everything, even my own feelings. You're talking about your dad, right? Say that out loud, Makoto! I can never find the answers to the questions I wanted to ask the rest of my life but because of the mastermind. However, there's one thing I am sure of. When it comes to the mastermind, there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. I, I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is just one more reason to follow through on that. Kiko's eyes burned with the fire of determination. The determination to defeat the, master the mastermind. <laughs> it's strange to be confronted with his death and suddenly feel this way. I couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. Why? So why is it? Why does it bother me so much to know he suffered? It's ridiculous. There's just no understanding it, I guess. She let out a small a laugh as she said it. And her, uh, oh, but her smile was filled with sorrow. Whew. So that's it for my ramble. Wow, that was a short ramble. There's still much to do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, you're right. Hey. But keep this in mind. There's only ever one absolute truth. 
whether that truth serves justice or suffering, whether it's the greatest truth or the worst. What do you mean? Maca what a rambling. <laughs> yeah, couldn't stand that. Uh, Kyoko needs to shut up, okay? Keep your opinion to yourself. Even if the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness. Hi. <laughs> is that the rambling over? Can you, can you, can you stop spamming chat? Guys, with all your rambles and your rants, can you just can we quit it, okay? You still can't forget, you still can't give up hope. I've been, uh, reading. It's been two hours. And my reading brain has not warmed up yet. Uh, absolutely not, because, because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? <laughs> well, I can move backwards as well. I can reverse. Indeed. Sorry if that was strange. So then. Anyway, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trial. Just watch me. I mean, hey, it's fine. Y you've got the cool badge. You're allowed to. <laughs> Leaving behind that final farewell, Kyoko was gone. I better get going myself. I got that DVD from Kyoko. I should head to the AV room to check it out. Kyoko said something about hopeless truth. And no matter what happens, I won't lose hope. <laughs> yeah, you got the DLC, even if it's the worst truth in the world. I can't afford to lose. Yeah, let's go. And use the map. Apparently there are still objectives here. I disagree. But, I, yeah, I mean, I've done them. No scope. Oh boy, this is gonna be a walk. Yeah, let's go all the way back to the first floor. Why not? I wonder what these interviews are going to contain, though. Downstairs. Spammer. Nice. Uh, let's do a quick walk. I feel like getting some exercise in-game. Why not? Let's go. I guess you do get that. I took a look at mod view the other day. Wow, that looks complicated. Uh, the AV room should be right around here. Do you want to hop in the store? Here's the AV room. There we go. Should be able to play DVDs just fine. Well then, I better take a look. I took the DVD Kyoko gave me and put it in the player. Oh no. Poor Robbers, what is that emote? Oh, it's one of the global emotes from BTTV. Nice. It said that it was playing, but nothing appeared on screen. I stared into the black of the monitor. I didn't turn it on. It must have only been a few seconds. To me, it felt like an eternity. Then all of a sudden, image appeared. It's Sayaka. S Sayaka? It took me by total surprise. I hadn't seen Sayaka in who knows how long. There she was. I don't know. It's probably been like a month. <laughs> Shame. Okay, then. Are you ready to begin? Whose voice is that? That sounds familiar. I can't picture it. The voice I heard was of the man positioned on one side of the screen. Well, okay. I think if someone spends channel points on a song request, if it's the guaranteed one, then that's worth a refund. But if it's the not guaranteed one, well, you know, that's just 10 points. Let them let them drop it. They, they take the gamble about whether I know the song or not with those 10 points. I think they're prepared to gamble with 10 points. Right? Right? I think that's fair. It's the voice of a middle-aged man. I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. That is a very clear American accent. Very Japanese. I'm a little slow, you know. Scams for I never really got the hang of taking notes while it's having a points. conversation. And it does say, if I know it, I'll sing it, but if I don't, I don't. So it's a, it's a little bit of a gamble, you know? I think that's fair. It's 10 points. You get 10 points for watching for like 10 minutes. 
Ein Romstein. Du. Du hast. Du hast mich. Du. Du hast. Du hast mich. I think that's all the Romstein lyrics I know. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. It sounded like he was trying to make a joke, but Psyche's tense face didn't move a single millimeter. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. Who's the voice? It's Mondo's! It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like insurance. So please don't worry too much. Right? Is it Mondo's voice actor? Now then, let me get straight to the point. No, it's not. Oh, well, whose is it? Is someone... It's one of the male characters. I think it's Mondo. I think. Was it Leon? I don't know. It sounds familiar. There's a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Uh, um... You, you want me to accept that? Oh, okay. Maybe I recognize him from some other property then. Psycho was obviously at a total loss. It made total sense. You would agree to spending the rest of your life in the school. Hi. Except... What? Thank you. And I'm sorry about all this. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. Could you just drop the voice actor's name in uh, chat? I probably recognize him from my hero then. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. Yeah, might have been that. Might have been my hero. That's if on Q, that's where the video cut out. Oh, it's J. Michael Tatum! If I'm thinking of the right person... Am I thinking of the right person? That means it was also... Um... Oh boy, why can't I remember his name? Uh, Hoin Kyoma in Steins Gate. Uh, if I'm thinking of the right person. There's a lot I hadn't understood up till now. But this, only this, I simply couldn't comprehend what I'd heard. Because I know how much Saika wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. She wanted that so bad. She tried to frame me for murder. So why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat there thinking about it, I noticed a sudden light. I monitored the video that I thought was finished flashed back on the screen. I started back to the screen. Yeah, well that's the other name for uh, Hoin Kyoin. Hoin Kyoma. He lit the character just goes by two names. But yeah, he also wrote that script. Yeah, no, J. Michael Tatum is a great voice actor. I think he worked on the script at least. In, you know, writing it for the dub. He's great. He also plays, um... The Butler and Black Butler, even though I haven't watched that show. Yeah. I think he's British, actually. I'm not sure, though. And if I was confused before, what I saw next pushed me right over the edge. Huh? What I saw was me. So maybe we were behind the camera. Okay, yeah, IMDb. Makes sense. Thank you for that. Yeah, J. Michael Tatum's great. And possibly undeniably me. So, Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. Which now it makes sense, because it sounds like he's putting on an American accent if you look if you listen really closely. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> yes. Me and the headmaster were looking at each other. The headmaster and I, actually. He and I were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. The I, the I and the here and now. I have absolutely no memory of it. I have no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less sitting down to talk to him like this. Shall we get straight to the point? Makoto, there's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. Yes. Maybe it was a really good school before all of this stuff happened. This can't be real. I said, yes? I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, 
I will do everything I can. Oh, and then he died. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. Okay. I think you are you sure he's American? I think he might be British American at the least. Because I've heard him speak before and he has like a bit of a he's a bit of twang in his voice. Maybe I'm thinking of just the fact that he's done a British accent for a show and I'm confusing myself. Must be CGI. That's not me, even though it's my voice. I mean, nowadays you could actually make that argument with uh, the amount of AI that can recreate voice and uh, faces. Once again, the video cut out. From there, the video repeated the same scene again and again with the others. It's Byakuya. Byakuya. Toko. Nina. There we go. Everyone. Except for Yasuhiro, apparently. They all said that they agreed to live in the school forever. And then... Oh, it's Kyoko. Kyoko. Her interview with him had been recorded just as clearly. Without a doubt, she had met him. She'd sat down with the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, her father. When he asked her his question, she answered the same as everyone else. She accepted a life within the school. Just as Kyoko's interview was wrapping up. The monitor suddenly went black. Huh? It wasn't just the monitor. The monitor. The DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. But what the heck just happened? Say what? Oopsie! Looks like it broke! Out of service! It's pointing to Yasuhiro again, because we didn't get to see his interview, did we? What? It just so happened to break just now? Too bad! Now then! When? Doesn't matter! Failure can strike anytime! Anywhere! That's what failure is, right? Like Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, known as the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Hitting on my ass, you cut the power on purpose. Well, whatever. Even if I watched the whole thing, it'd just be more of the same. You don't know that. Yeah. I think Yasuhiro did it. You'd ask them the question, they'd all say yes. I couldn't help myself. Let out a huge, exasperated sigh. But as I did, I remembered something. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up. Perfect partner. <laughs> I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. That time I'd forgotten. Okay, so if Makoto was a student here, then it makes sense that he had those dreams where he was like, my goal isn't to leave Hope Speak, it's to stay. I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Convenient outcome. Something that seemed to obviously work in favor of the mastermind. So does that mean I've lost my memory too? What about the others? Wait, that means Makoto was here for a reason besides being the ultimate lucky student. Have we all forgotten or... Unless there's a lot more time that passed between when he entered the school and when the killing game started than we realized. Because if his memory was erased, he could have lived like an entire school year as the ultimate lucky student, but then the game would only play from then because of the memory erasure. That would be clever. I'd like that. Interview DVD has been updated in the truth build section of your handbook. Perfect sidekick. The ultimate sidekick. Is that the end of the investigation? For anything that has a start, there has to be an end. And if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start. Sorry. There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Um, that's not true, right? Well, I know that there are days that don't have nights uh, if you live like high enough in the hemisphere. Although that dawn is totally pitch black. Okay, well, there you go. There is no storm that won't eventually end. Jupiter? Of course, then that leads to drought. 
But as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. Which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again. Because the end is only the beginning. Yeah. Anyway, let's get started. The beginning of the end of the class trial. Everyone gather once again at you know where. <laughs> yes. Let's go. It's about to begin again. The class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The last time all our lives will be on the line. Yeah, final trial hype. The last time hope and despair are on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay then. This is the end. Let's go. Let's set let's prepare for the final trial. And we'll start it tomorrow. I guess I'm the first one this Makoto. time. You're early, Makoto. Oops. Oh, I guess not. Does that mean you feel prepared? Yeah, for now at least. But where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However, Don't worry. I'm sure they'll be here soon. Just like she said. Boink. Biakia! Biakia? Just Toko. They arrived, one after another. They were all in the same state of shock. Mina? Nero? Silence. It wasn't any normal silence. It was the deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial. You called for me and so I appear! Ah, I'm late! <laughs> ah, strong silence master is so wonderful, so cool, so hot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, that's a line. My loins are ablaze. Yes! What a pickup line. Now listen! Everything will be just fine if you leave it to me. My beautiful With my scissors sharp scissors in hand, I'll stab and couch and shiv the master of evil. I thought you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little boys. <laughs> if it's my master once, it can be a boy, girl, or anything in between. I can handle it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Where am I? <sighs> No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to get that checked out. There might be a UTI. I, that's such, This is like fantastic. Can I take a screenshot of this? There we go. Screenshot taken. I'm going to save that one for later. No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone here? Oh, and wearing out gloomy Gus faces, I see. Well now. Okay, well then, let's begin. Thrills, this final class trial is gonna be slathered in pitch black despair. Climb maximum sorrow. Oh, sick. <laughs> I'm glad I could pick up on the meme potential. Instinctively. You're right, this is the final class trial. And this time, it'll be fair. What do you mean, this time? Stop with all the slander. I'm a bear in good standing, you know. Unbelievable. If there was a Mr. Fair Guy Universe Contest, I'd take him the tiara every year. I'm gonna win this game super fair and square. Today, and I'll make I'm sure everyone watching at home knows that despair is mightier than the hope. Stop talking. Enough of your tedious drivel. Begin the trial already. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's begin the trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below. You guys. So don't try and run away. Ah! <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> Laughing as loud as ever. Laughing as loud as ever. Monokuma disappeared. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. In the name this of will my be over family. In no time. In inexplicable confidence, Byaku was the first into the elevator. One by one, the others followed. Okay. No talking to them, I guess. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> I wonder what everyone found. Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the elevator. Hey. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid, suspicious of each other. However. But you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. However. But you can tell us all about it soon. The class trial. You're right. I'm ready. So. Ready to win, right? Of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. Let's go. We'll start this tomorrow, of course. Then Kyoko was aboard the elevator. 
We just want to do the quick prep. I sort of make my way toward the opening. Step after step toward the gaping maw. I resolved that this would be the last time. I repeated to myself that there was no fear, no mystery left. I pushed the anxiety down, on my trembling body, and finally on steady legs. Descent. Past the threshold and stood in the elevator. This looks familiar. You know, what is so interesting about that wall? Without warning, it began to descend. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper still. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper it fell. Still becoming a poet on the elevator. Oh, I missed it. But yeah, I, I think um, you're right. I think I've uh, seen that in other art as well. Like in the death scene, it also looked pinker to me. I closed my eyes, the sight fell away. All sound, too, disappeared. Are we doing this one in the dark? It's just a sprite issue? I actually prefer the sprite, I think. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later? I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to an end. I slowly opened my eyes. Ooh, boy. This is the final trial site? What do you think? Is it just the perfect background for deciding a person's fate? Yeah! It's the long awaited last stage, the always exciting final boss battle. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna sit on this one. And I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. Oh, well then, let's begin! Begin! Yes, I do want to save. There we go. I uh, just want to check my skills. I think we're good, yeah. Um, that's gonna be it. So we did just save, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna do it again, in case. And we're gonna return to the menu. And we're gonna do this one tomorrow! It's gonna be a long one, I think. So, buckle up. I thought this one was gonna be shorter, honestly. But hey, we had a good long stream to make up for the, the missing content this week. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, join me tomorrow. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a bit of a marathon for me. I hope you had a good time. Thank you again to Marvis for the sub. And thank you again to Sam for the sub. Um, means a lot. And I really appreciate it. Uh, I, I am actually quite... What do, what do you guys think of the emote? Do you think the emote's good? If I can grab your thoughts quickly. I think it's a decent pog emote. Honestly. I don't mind it. Oh, okay. I just happened to have a, uh, a picture. I didn't even have to take that one. I had a picture where I happened to be pulling a pog face for no reason, apparently. So I just got to extract that image. But yeah, thank you again. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. And goodbye. <laughs> Boo. Hold on. Do we want to raid anyone? Do you think it would be a good idea to raid? Just remember that rating might be a thing. Should we raid? Um. Okay, well let's uh, let's have a quick look at the Dungan Rompa section of Twitch. I don't think I typed that correctly. No, I didn't. Do you have luxury? Oh, that's someone's random thing. Um, I just want to check the category. Who is streaming? Um, that one music kid seems to be streaming, and they're in what looks like an early trial. Yeah, why don't we rate them? Let's have a quick look at their at their stream. That was fast, but like consider. Got the closed captions on. It's Mondo! I didn't want it to be Mondo! I think this is a good yeah, I think this is a good one to read. No! That one music kid they're screaming a little bit, but it's fine. Let's uh let's let's do that. Um yeah. If Umi knows something. Let's do that. So hopefully I'll see you guys later. And welcome to the music family, homie. We're so happy to have you. Mute that tab.
And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Enjoy a beer, do whatever you need to do, put us on for put us on for the fun times and enjoy your time, man. Here it is. What do you have there? It happens to be, to be an e handbook. handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. Oh? I look forward to meeting it's gotta belong to Shihiro? Josh Forward, thank you so much for the raid, dude. My name is Music Kid. You can call me Mickey. Welcome in, welcome in, Raiders. Thank you so, so much, Josh, for bringing your community here to come see me. It means the world to me that you like the content enough to share me with your friends and family and loved ones. So thank you so, so much for hanging out. You were playing Sugar Happy Havoc.